Hey YouTube world, what's up? Today is Monday, December 9th, 2013. Uh, I wanted to talk about this thing though. Okay. Breathing. You know, automatically. We know how to do it and all that. But are we doing it the correct way though? Here's, here's what I'm talking about. Bateko. Constantine Bateko. A medical doctor from the old Soviet Union, well, which is now Ukraine though passed away, I think, for like 10 years now, but in the 50s, he developed a, a breathing technique that fights certain chronic gold diseases, ad, asthma, I mean, diseases dealing with, you know, insomnia, anxiety, let's see what else, uh, I mean, high blood pressure, uh, hypertension, uh, the... You know, like deep breathing, though, how deep breathing is a big factor of why a lot of people are on medications, daily medications, though. It, it, he discovered it in the 50s, though, you know. Um, I heard about this a while back uh, on the uh, Georgia High School Track and Field Cross Country uh, website a while back, uh, GATFXC.com. And when I saw saw that, I, this was a discussion back then, where I want to talk about breathing with running, you know, why is it that I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm getting tired, is there, like, different techniques and stuff, and, uh, this person I remember on one of the message boards put an article up of a guy, uh, a coach who had a son, though, up in New York, though, I, for, I, I forgot their names, though. I think, the guy's name was John, and I think his uh, son's name was David. And in this article, he was mentioning that his son used to have asthma, though. And uh, when he found out that it was his br uh, breathing, he started, uh, I don't know how, but he stumbled upon Bateko's breathing, you know, that breathing in through your nose only, no mouth, no, no uh, oral breathing, just nozzle while running. And I think, hmm, interesting, you know, run... <laughs> Well, you're breathing like that, though. But, anyways, though, he corrected asthma. The, uh, the kid ran good. He went to college, though. All that, you know, yada, 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 yada. Of course, the team did good. They practiced nozzle breathing. Also, they go into barefoot running and running long mileage. But that's a discussion for another time. But, back to the breathing, though. Nozzle breathing. This was a thing that where I'm like, hmm, you know, should I run you know, while my mouth closed and just breathe through my nose, or what, you know, and a lot of people just say, oh, just, just breathe normally, just breathe normally, it doesn't matter, it was, I did a period of on and off, because it was really hard for me at first to breathe just through my nose, though, because I kept that gasping for air, and I slowed down a lot, but I kind of stick with it, and I noticed that my, you know, uh, I guess you could say respiratory muscles were getting stronger, but then I stumbled upon that article, in that article that I saw about uh, the Russian doctor, Konstantin Bateko, and uh, his whole discovery. If you go to normalbreathing.com, you know, I could put a link below in the description. It'll tell you everything about it, though. And it's very interesting, though. I mean, it has uh, certain lifestyles. Like, for example, um, you sleep, like, kind of like on your left side, though. Now, and, you know, just like a... Uh, left shoulder, though, not on your back, back is bad, now you could sleep on your right side, but it would be better if you sleep on your left, or stomach, but never on your back, though, because over breathing is going to cause uh, you to snore, though, and then, of course, mouth breathing, which is obviously bad, what they say, uh, but they say, okay, they say you have more energy throughout the day, you're not uh, craving bad food. You should eat like a raw diet kind of plant food. You know, just not natural foods, not junk food, not craving caffeine or sugary stuff and all that. Uh, you, like, you should be able to avoid coffee completely. You should be able to have a lot of energy, uh, run a lot, any kind of exercise, all through nose breathing, though. You shouldn't be tired. Uh, you should get by on less sleep, but I noticed, though, 
with the lifestyle practice when I started um, trying to shallow my breath, I noticed I could get by on less sleep. Now, what, why is it that, is it just through the nose and, you know, not the mouth? What, what's the big factor? It's the exchange between oxygen, you know, H2O, no, you sure, well, oxygen and CO2, carbon dioxide. It's that when we inhale, take a deep breath, we also exhale out a lot. We exhale a lot of carbon dioxide, which is supposedly bad, even though we say that's like a waste, like a waste gas, so we don't need it. But apparently it's that we do, because the more our carbon dioxide levels are higher, the better we're off. So it's like, you know, whatever you put in, you're going to take out. So if you take in a lot, you can take out a lot, you know, so just a little bit in and a little bit out. You, you kind of see where I'm going here? It, it, it's very interesting though, I mean, I've been doing it on and off for a while, but I've, I don't know, I, I've noticed it's, I guess it kind of works for me, I mean, running, I've, I've kind of plateaued in a way though, because now, I mean, I could, I could nozzle breathe and run a 36 minute 10k, you know, no problem. Oral breathe, I could push to 35, probably sub 35. But then I'd be hurting and just like I'd be dead. But it's funny though, with nozzle breathing, if I run like 36 10K, 36 minute 10K, I'm, you know, not as tired though. I mean, of course, they said with your muscles, all the tissues, organs in your body, they'll be functioning properly. They'll be at its best when your mouth is closed, you're breathing through your nose. So yeah, I'm going to put the link in the description below. But I was just wondering if anybody out there... Not only has heard of it, but like really like stuck with it for a long period of time, and has seen the benefits of it. Though I've con I've been on and off for a few years, but again, it's just something you know, wanted to bring up and see what others think about there, and say was potato really right? And when pe when you um, ask the medical field now. They're going to say that, oh, there's no evidence on that, even though there, there is some, but I guess they're not going to follow it. I, it's, it's it's weird, though. So I guess just go by how you feel or, or try to see if this technique works. So, I mean, so supposedly Bateko, since like the 50s, he discovered it on himself because he was having problems, you know, uh, with over-breathing gained headaches, you know, chest pains, and when he corrected his breathing, he started to see those symptoms completely go away. And you notice with patients, though, when they were close to dying, their breathing was getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Any kind of bad uh, disease or certain, or certain thing that they had was the breathing was over-breathing, breathing deeply. And when he corrected that, saying, no, 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 no. You need to breathe very shallow, lightly, almost like you're not breathing at all. There was a quote saying that the perfect man breathes as he is not breathing at all. Yeah, it was like from 5 BC or something. Um, I mean, yeah, who knows? But anyways, uh, just uh, check it out, though, and try it for your own, if you haven't, though. And for those that have, tell me what are your opinions on it, all right? Well, I'm out.